Hope you have to go live. Okay, I'm live on Facebook now. Live on Facebook via Zoom. I don't know guys, it's possible to do that, right? So yeah, I'm live on Facebook. Perfect. So yeah, perfect, perfect. So if you want to reverb sound, it's perfect. Okay. So we start and check from my phone for Facebook and zoom from my computer. Sounds zero. Perfect. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Darcy Gandaga, CEO at Real Media, and I'm telling you I have something extremely important to share. Uh, today is September 12th, so we almost at the half of the month of September. And this uh, Facebook Live is especially not only for my mastermind with uh, my teammates. Uh, big shout out to Ambassador Jimmy, Dr. Darren, and more people are going to join. But I want to share on Facebook just a little bit to give you um, a little idea to what we are doing on Tuesday. So we've been doing that almost three years now. Every Tuesday, you know, we have experts coming from around the world and we discuss strategy, um, leadership, spirituality. But today, I really want to give you a content strategy for marketers. A content strategy for marketers. I see a lot of people um, who want to sell their knowledge, their product and services online. But unfortunately, um, what's going on is that we don't have a strategy. So we're doing what, what I call the posting and hoping. The posting and hope somebody's going to see them. The posting and hope somebody's going to buy. So we don't have an intentional, consistent strategy in the way they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Their stuff is not consistent, really, the way they're doing it. Because they're like, like okay, we want to really help the people. But they're not really sure how to do it. So you see somebody start posting like almost every day for two weeks, then disappear for another two weeks, come back. So when you do that, the number one um, thing that you need to do is to build trust with your audience, okay? And you cannot build trust if you are consistent. So today, what I will do, I will share three or four things that you need to do regardless of who you are, if you sell products, services, books, uh, perfume, if you sell something online, remember one thing, you have to follow the laws of the internet, okay? There's laws, there's uh, you know, laws and regulation when you want to operate a restaurant, okay? There's some things that you have to do when you want to operate in a restaurant. There's some stuff that you have to do when you want to uh, really start working on a different aspect of any business, everything got certain laws, okay? So my question to you is that, where did you go to learn about the laws of the internet for your business? Are you just doing according to what you think you need to do? Or you think that you already have the answer? To really position yourself online. So that's extremely important to understand that. And, you know, bear with me. Uh, the people, you can, you know, join on Zoom to ask questions live. Okay, the link is in the bio where you're watching me now on Facebook. I'm exclusively on my Facebook profile page. I'm not on my professional page. I'm not on YouTube. I'm not on LinkedIn. I'm not on Twitter like I usually do. But now I'm on Facebook, on my personal page and on Zoom. Okay. So now I want you to take a piece of paper and write down certain things, okay? Number one, I want you to write down live stream strategy. I want you to write down live stream strategy. Number two, I want you to write down product or services strategy. Number two, I want you to write down product and services strategy, okay? Number three, I want you to write down podcast strategy. Podcast strategy, okay? Number four, I want you to write down book strategy. Book strategy. 
Okay. Number five, I want you to write down online courses strategy. And there's a reason why I'm telling you to write all those five things because like you, you, you have to learn really about what's going on. Okay. Very, very important. Now, now that you wrote this thing down, let's go back to live stream strategy. I see so many people going live with no strategy behind it. There's uh, 85% of people who are teaching on live stream and they've been doing live stream just like me since 2012, sometime 11, 10. We've been doing live stream a long time ago before everybody could live stream on their phone. For a little history about that, uh, people are been just able to live stream from their phone only since April, 2016. Before April 2016, people were not able to go live on Facebook. They are able to go live on Periscope. I use a company, I don't know if it still exists, you know, Periscope, but Periscope used to be hot back in the day. But back then, the algorithm was very good. You should be able to reach about 20, 25% of your audience. But when Facebook allowed everybody to come live, before those people like us who have equipment to go into live streaming, so now they cut the organic reach. Organic reach is the reach that you have without paying ads to about 20% to 1% average, sometimes less. Yes, you heard me right. If you don't believe me, you will see like those big time influencers, especially on Instagram, it's still a meta company. They have 12 million, 20 million you know, followers. But when they live, you see three, four, five thousand 5,000 people, 10,000 on a good day but not much, unless it's somebody like The Rock, you know, you have an announcement, you might get like hundreds of thousand people connected because, you know, it's going to organize it. But most of the time, you're going to reach 1%. So if you reach 1% of your audience, whenever you go live, you have to make sure that by 1%, they know exactly when you go live and why you go live. When you go live and why you go live. So you can teach the algorithm to send your traffic at a specific time. Because you have to understand that Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of them, they make money with your content. So if your content don't reach people or they don't know how to bring people in, they're not gonna bring people when you go live. That's it, plain simple. Because like the way they make money is 90% of the money for them, 10% for you. Don't ask me why, that's the rules, okay? So you have to understand really how this type of stuff are working to position yourself, all right? So that's a live stream strategy. So when you go live stream now, there's software. A lot of people, you know, you try to make money, but you want to save money. You cannot make money and save money at the same time. You have to invest money to make money. When you save money, there's no return. When you invest money, there's return on your investment. So the return on investment, you have, if you have a PC, you have to use StreamYard, the paid version. Because if a paid version, I bet you pay $25 a month, you're going to be live on your two Facebook pages. Everybody needs to have at least two Facebook pages, a Facebook profile and a Facebook page. And then, of course, you need to have a YouTube account. Okay? You need also to have a LinkedIn account, account and an X or now a Twitter account. So you can connect all those platforms with a $25, you know, uh, a month through StreamYard or pay $49 a month. Let me tell you something that one of my mentor, um, God bless, bless her soul, um, Wendy Lovejoy, told me a long time ago, and, and I'm so grateful, so thankful for her. She was such a great mentor. She said, Darcy, you want to make more money? Spend more money. I used to be offended when you used to tell me that. I said, what, what do you mean? I'm looking for money now. What do you mean that you want me to spend more money? But what she was saying is that your motivation, your purpose, your intention, when you do things, when you spend money every month, you'll be more aggressive. You're more consistent. The problem with the consistency, you have nothing to lose. So you're not consistent. You pay nothing every month. Besides, I mean, you're paying your bills, but you don't have business bills. So therefore, you don't want to invest in a paid live stream software. You still think that you're going to make millions of dollars from your phone. 
that people say like, yes, you know, I used to do that. And I, 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 I'm, you know, all you have to do is stream and stuff. No, you cannot just do the streaming like that. You cannot just do the streaming like that and think that from your phone by 2023, that you will make money just from your phone. It's not working like that. It's not working like that anymore. You understand? It's not working like that. So you cannot just assume that I'm going to just do it and then I'm going to make so much money from my phone. Is not the right live stream strategy. I'm sorry. So you have to create a live stream, okay? And after you create the live stream, you have to pay a professional to create some reels. And from those reels, the, the reels from the live, the best one that you have, you know, one minute or less, or sometimes two minutes, depends, it's very important. You take that reels, and now you do what you call repurpose content. So you take that reels that you have to upload on YouTube, upload on your two Facebook pages, on your Twitter, on your LinkedIn, and number six on TikTok. TikTok is the king of reels, okay? And organic reach. So you're always gonna have at least average four, five times more views when you post anything on TikTok than anywhere else. So the number one live stream strategy and everything I'm, I'm giving you now, it's like, it's valuable information, but it's only gonna benefit people who are willing to do it. That's why I'm willing to, to give it. It's done that, oh my God, Dancy, you give some great strategy for free. Yes, but I, I can give it because it's work. Nobody likes to work. We think that like they're gonna pay somebody, some expert, they're gonna get the online course and make money. No, you have to do the work. And what I give it to you is a minimum. Actually, it's not even a strategy. Let me change that. It's a requirement to be successful online. I'm gonna rephrase that. The requirement to be successful online. If you cannot have some live stream and if you don't have established, you know, you wanna establish uh, your audience. If you have a, your audience established, you don't really need to, you can come live whenever you want to, but you build an audience, you wanna build an audience, you wanna to get to six figures, this is what you really wanna do. I've been doing six figures online since 2015, every year. So I know exactly what I'm talking about. So what you wanna do is that in your live stream requirements, it's not even a strategy, you have to, to do at least three lives a week. Regardless, three lives a week. You want to build audience? Three lives a week. Listen to what I'm saying to you. You want to build the audience? You want to, because you cannot sell if you don't have the audience. So you have to build the audience and then sell it to audience. You cannot sell before the audience. You need to have an audience. People need to follow and to know what you do. So you want to build three times a week. Best day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday consistently. If you cannot do that, it's too much for you, do at least once a week. But then you make sure that you're pumping those reels every two days. I'm telling you, okay? So now I just give you the requirements. After that, what I said to you, after number one live stream, somebody helped me in the chat on on Zoom or on Facebook, somebody helped me, help me with that. What I say on number two, because, I mean, you have to participate. I'm just not going to keep talking by myself. You have to, you know, you have to participate. What's going on? Live streaming was number one. What, what I said, number two, Dr. D, ambassador. I know ambassador is busy, but. Say product and service strategy, coach. Okay, product and service. Thank you. So product and services. So if you have a product or you have a services, you need, I was talking to a client uh, from Texas yesterday. You, you need, you, you're online, you need to have those two accounts who are free. You need to start right now. As soon as the start, the, 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 that live is, is over, you have to open a Stripe account and a PayPal account, especially if you live in Europe and North America. You need to have a PayPal account and a Stripe account. Before you have a website, I see people with websites, they spend $7,000 on a website. There's no way where I can pay you online directly. You cannot ask me to pay you to cash up. 
and you have a website. Or just cash up me. What? Cash up you, cash up. Cash up is not for somebody who, who, who possess a website. You understand that? And then there's a limit to environment that you can send to cash up. I mean, it depends on what you're selling, but come on, man. Send people, we are, especially in North America, send people to your e-store. Your e-store needs to have some button, PayPal, or people can pay you through card to pay you directly. We call it payment processing software. PPS, you need to have PPS and it's free. Yes, we, we take 2.9%, but take that. When you get to a certain level and you talk about cash up, people will not take you seriously. They're not. You try to sell a product or services, you need to have a stripe or a paper. Why? Let me give you another secret real quick. Because when you have a paper and a stripe, when you make a certain amount, there's PayPal financing. PayPal can give you a loan 10, 20, 50, sometimes $100,000 according to your sale. But if you've been selling stuff on Zelle and Cash App, they're not going to be able to give you opportunity like that. Stripe do the same thing. You can have a Stripe bank card. You can have a PayPal bank card. You know that? So you need to have an e-store, an e-commerce store from Shopify, from WordPress, GoDaddy, go wherever you can, Tajabi, whatever. It may, you know, something else too, real quick. People think that because, and I love Russell Brunson, but people think that because I have click funnel, I'm going to make more sales than somebody got Kajabi, or somebody who use uh, Gumroad, or somebody use eJunkie, or somebody use SamCard or somebody use uh, system IO. Whatever system processing that you have from your e-commerce, your course, your books, your services, you need to do the requirements. You can, I can build a funnel for you. Me building a funnel will not guarantee you making money. You need to know how to convert regular people into leads to your business. And if you, do want, you don't want to invest in yourself to increase your base knowledge, it's insanity. So you're still doing the same thing, hoping a different result. To me, it's the best way to become depressed. Because like now, you're doing the same thing over and over again, and you said, what's, what's going on? Oh my God, I don't have, I don't understand. I mean, stuff is not moving. My God, stuff, stuff is not working. Stuff is not moving. Stuff is not working because... You don't want to learn how to do it the proper way. So I don't need that. It's, it's social media. I'm just going to post. I'm just going to post. I'm just going to post and I'm going to post. And somebody, no, you need to have a strategy behind it. Product and services. Okay? So you need to have an e-commerce website. So, and I don't have the time to make a difference between a regular website and an e-commerce website. Google that. What is the difference between a website and e-commerce? Uh, Google will tell you. Number three, I'll talk about uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Darren. Can you give me a number three, please? Thank you so much. Dr. Darren is one of my yes. best students worldwide. Yes, sir. It's, uh, number three is podcast strategy, coach. Okay. So podcast strategy, a lot of you guys think that the podcast is the same thing as going live. Oh, you know, wh wh where's my headphones? Oh, people think that the podcast is just having, can I zoom? I don't can I even zoom, but is to have a, a mic next to your face like that with some headphones and like, you, you know, the camera is right here and you're talking to someone. You know, a podcast strategy is very important. Yes, you know, like, like you're talking to yourself, talking to yourself with a Zoom on your face doesn't mean that you have a podcast. I don't even know who's starting that, that train. 
to have a podcast, you don't need to have headphones. I don't understand why that's a look that, oh, so when people see somebody with headphones and, and talking to a mic, oh my God, it's got to be a podcast. It's not like that. Okay? It's not like that. A podcast strategy, you need, your podcast needs, needs to become a business. It means that you need to create some partnership. And you will see, my, actually, I believe tomorrow, my French podcast will drop. And by the grace of God, in a few days before the end of this month, my English uh, podcast will be dropped. And you will see, I'm developing partnership first with certain company because the podcast is a monetization system. You have to monetize the podcast. The podcast is just not another way for people to hear what you have to say. You have to convert. You have to bring leads. The podcast itself needs to be a business. Your podcast needs to have a website. I see so many people, we don't even have a website for a podcast. They just put reels on, on Instagram, say, I have a podcast available on all platform. I don't know what all platform is. Put Google Podcast, Apple uh, Podcast, Spotify. You have to put that so people will know where to go. You cannot just assume, go to every podcast platform. So, so the person have to go, remember your name, Go to Google and say like, oh, blah. they don't understand. Yes, there's YouTube podcast which just appeared a few months ago. But you know, the, the relevance of podcasts as well is the audio platform. We are being there for podcasts. You need to have to pay a host for somebody to host your podcast so you can have access, a detailed access to who listening to, you, to your podcast and where, so you can quantify your strategy. You cannot have a proper strategy if you're blind about who listening to your podcast. Oh, I got, I got a podcast, I got a podcast. Who listen to your podcast? Do, do you communicate to us who was the number one country who listened to your podcast last week? Do we know? Do you know? what you're doing so stop doing things without having the understanding what is the purpose of a podcast the purpose of your podcast the podcast for years now been the number one conversion tools for not all is an exception but the majority of internet entrepreneur podcast is one of the number one tools to convert you know followers into clients or listener to clients, okay? So you have to understand that. So a podcast is just not a podcast. You need to have an intro. You need to have an intro and outro. You need to build your podcast in a way where you can uh, advertise for other companies, advertise for yourself, segments, where to cut, how long your podcast is going to be, how long the average podcast episode is going to be. You can have a podcast of five minutes today, tomorrow, 60 minutes. Then the day after that, three hours and 20 minutes. Then the next day, 11 minutes. So my God, so it means that you just press the record button and you talk, there's no format. I'm just talking, talking, talking. You know, if you talk about a topic and the topic is so good, you have to drop part one, part two, part three, part four, but you need to have a certain amount of time for your podcast. And they know that, okay, this podcast is 45 minutes. This podcast is 15 minute podcast. It's a 20 minute podcast. It's a one hour podcast. And if the conversation is so good, make two episodes or make one episode full and one half. I mean, do what you have to do. But we have to, uh, to know what to expect from your podcast. There's so many things that you can do. Okay. So I believe uh, now we're going to number four. I believe I say books. Even if it's not books, I will go with books. Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. So books. And it happened all the time. I've been set, I mean, I've been setting my book. Thank you. I believe you put a, a, a testimony. I've been setting my book in French and English like hot cakes. I believe it was yesterday. I saw a notification on, on my on my I said like, some money coming from Stripe. I said, what, what is that money coming from? Oh, I forgot. I saw more copies of my books. When you have a book, you have to tell a story. 
you see like the way I've been telling stories, I put pictures from back in the day and stuff. I'm telling you, it's not because like, it's my book, but I'm telling you, my book is a movie. You, you, you don't know me until you write my book. I don't care how many years you've been knowing me. I kept some part of my testimony secret on purpose. I don't care if you said, I've been knowing that for 10 years. If you didn't purchase and download my book, you don't know me. Because the, my book will make you understand why I'm doing the way I'm doing stuff, why I am the way I am. So the book, this one is based for, for you know, in my testimony, in my story. But if a book is based on a strategy and stuff like that, you have to create some storytelling strategy behind your book. Your book, you don't just sell your book when you announce that your book is available. You sell your book after you announce that your book is available. You have to sell your book from different area, from different angle, from written format, blog posts, from pictures, for videos, from podcasts. You have to attack your book from different avenue. The goal is your book need to bring uh, the biggest residual income ever every month. That's the goal. It's not to, to, to be number one on Amazon and just say I was number one on Amazon and then people forget about your book. Your book needs to be something with constantly, you know, driving traffic to your business. Your book. Your book needs to be like a, a, a on-demand recruiter through your story, through your strategy. And the crazy thing about books is that people people always think that their life is, is not important. Oh, my life is not important, coach. If I, if I create a book, who's going to read your book? Look, my wife, she got a book in English, in French. French, I mean, uh, French, English. Why? You put your book in one language. Oh, coach, everybody speak English. No. Only 20% of the internet speaks English. This 80% will need to hear what you have to say. When you, if there's not a lot of competition in a translated books market, none. Only the top 1% of author translate a book in another language. What you try to do? Facebook. Facebook, I saw some stats from like six, seven years ago. Only back then, only 18% of Facebook users used to be in the United States. I just heard the news recently that India bypassed China in the population. So India is the number one country in the world with the most people as we speak. Guess who's the number one country in the world with most uh, Facebook users? People always think United States or UK. I don't know why. UK, United States, Canada? No. The world is not only United States, UK, and Canada. The number one country in the world with the most Facebook users are Indian from India. And most of them don't speak English. They speak Punjabi. So do you think that I need to fast for 21 days or 210 days if I have an opportunity to translate my book in the Indian most spoken language? Where's the number one country in the world? Do you think I need to ask God or whoever or prophet, do I need to run an ad to target New Delhi and Bombay in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in that language to sell my book? Do you think that's this hesitation? As an American author, it will work. But you have to know that this kind of stuff are possible. From a book, you can create a, a consulting business talk about strategy. Inside your book, there's a lot of different products that you can flip. You can sometimes come up with 20 different products from one book. And if you are an author, you need a website. How in the world you're an author, you don't have a website? It was fascinating me. Well, hey, hello, hey, how are you? Do you have a book? Yes. Where, where's your book? Oh, my book is on Amazon. Oh, okay. Do you have a website? No, no. But you can go on my uh, Amazon page. Amazon will not give you access to the data the people who buy your book. So you cannot 
only have your book available on Amazon. You need to have your book available on your website. So you can get leads, the email, first and last name, a person who bought your book. So you can send them an email in advance when you do something concerning the book, an event concerning the book, a webinar concerning the book, a conference concerning the book, a book signing in their town. Amazon will not send them a message. Hey, guess what? This dust is going to be in New York City next week. You want to come out? And Amazon will be so kind to do that for me for free. It's not happening. Book strategy. Oh, no, excuse me. Book requirements and online courses is the same thing. Everything that you know, you need to transform that into a course because there's somebody out there who need to access your knowledge. You have to learn how to franchise your mind. And that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. And I didn't want to speak too much. Okay, right, what, 35 to 33 minutes? Perfect. Now we answer your question until 2 p.m. If you want. If you do have questions. Okay? So go ahead. The mic is on. You, you can do what you have to do. Hey, Coach. Thanks for the presentation. Uh, You're welcome. Yes, sir. So just a quick question as far as, um, like, how do you think organizing and, and selling your online content to be able to reach, you know, the countries that, um, you know, maybe more interested in that topic. How do you, do you think um, like with the information inside the course, like it's in English already, right? Yes. Do you, do you think there's a way to um, go back and retranslate the language into say, you know, the most spoken language in India? Yes, most definitely you can do it. We do it over time in Netflix, right? You ever watch a movie on Netflix? It's not, you know, the movie was not recorded in English or sometimes it's in the original language and you just read the caption. I did that with Pablo, es Pablo Escobar a few years ago when, when it came out on Netflix. It was so good. I was watching it in Spanish and, and it was about five or six seasons. I watched the entire story because it was so fascinating. You know, it was so pow powerful. Yes. I mean, and, you know, uh, some of the course that you already bought for me, I can give it to you, to you uh, uh, offline, but there's some uh, software we can help you put the subtitle, and you keep your and you keep your voice. Okay. Yeah, it's Thank possible. You, you are welcome. We can make it happen. Let me see if there's some question maybe on on, on Facebook. There's the people here. Thank you, great lady. Do we have question here on Facebook or here on Zoom? Bricia, do you have any questions? And if you if you are at work or anything else uh, for people in the United States, if you cannot speak, you can um, send a question in the chat. I love a question you've been asking. The key to cons the consistency, you, you have to, you know, if, if you watch um, the best example I always give um, is um, Michael Jordan in uh, Last Dance. I woke up with intention in my mind. What can I do today? You know, and, and my, my mentor, when he loved John, used to say, like, you need to have... Um, you need to have daily habits to get you closer to your goal. So it starts with a goal. Let's say that you know you want a client today. 
we want 30 clients in a month is a goal. Doesn't mean that you're gonna hit the goal, but it's a direction where you're going. So let's say like the first month, let's say that you have 10 clients, okay? Now you retract, say, okay, what did you do differently from the month when you have zero clients to 10 clients? And then you, you try to multiply that by two, the following month. So for example, tomorrow is Wednesday. What I'm going to do Wednesday, what can I do Wednesday to connect with my audience? The one already bought, what we need. You have to think about this kind of stuff and then positioning yourself to be able to help. That's the key. It's very important. Okay? So the key of consistency is having a vision and a goal to obtain. If you're waiting to have results, to be motivated to keep going, you don't need to start because you the one who need to, like the motivation need to come, come from keep going and to figure out what's going on. So the consistency, you need to have something in your, um, in your mind, this is what I'm gonna reach and this is what I'm gonna do. If you don't have a goal, you cannot just really, you, you're gonna just go to go. That's why mindset is so important. That's why the mindset is more important than the strategy. Because without the right mindset, you will not be able to apply the strategy. What I'm talking about, you need to have dedication. So you need to see the sale before you put forth the effort to drop the, uh, uh, the live, then to take the reels, then to put the reels in every platform and to do that every two days and cut the stuff. You're doing it because you already won. But if you think that, oh, you know what? I will try, you lost before you try. You're welcome, uh, Ambassador Jimmy. Before you try, you know, you're not gonna be able to make it like that. You understand? Because it's like, okay, let me try that thing. If you don't try, you do it. When, when um, a woman think about changing her hair, she don't say like, oh, I'm thinking about trying. No, she changed her hair. She said, I want to change my hairstyle. She changed her hairstyle. Me, when I said like, I, I want some locks, I'm joking, I'm not serious. I'm going to put a filter, you know, to, to joke and then I'll come back with my regular haircut. You see the difference? The difference, you know, the difference is about the person who executes something until they get result. And the other person is thinking about the best strategy. But the speed of execution is a difference maker, okay? Great question, Bricia. What's the best strategy for a podcast and how to speak two channel, English and French? I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right now. So I tried, I tried for years. And especially since tried to come back since 2019 in English and it's not working for me. So I'm gonna have to have two platforms. One in English, one in French. I cannot do both. I was trying to do both. It was just confusing. It was confusing me. Um, so now I have two different platforms. One in French, one in English. I was thinking about that too. But if you have a podcast, what is the name of your podcast? Uh, even if you find a podcast, so you do like one week in French, one week in English, one week in French. It's too much back and forth. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have two podcasts, two different websites, two different communities. And I'm going to drop those two things on, uh, on my name. But in French, Vincent Salaire, in English, the English uh, thing that I'm going to have separate. Now, the, the good strategy that I saw on, on, on Facebook, on, on, uh, on YouTube, is that now you have um, you have YouTube podcast, so you can upload your stuff over there on YouTube podcast, and I believe you can do both there on YouTube podcast if you already have a YouTube channel. 
to monetize. So if you already have a channel over a thousand subscribers and you want to monetize your view as a podcast and, you know, different stuff that when you monetize your uh, YouTube channel, you um, you don't want to start from scratch. There's a section now where you can upload a podcast. So there's a way now you can upload the video. You can now also upload podcasts on YouTube. Okay? That's very, very important. Hope I answered answer your questions. When your message. Oh, you still up. Thank you. Okay. No problem, guys. So I'm going to um, leave right now. So God bless you. Uh, I don't, I don't know if if we is gonna stay on Facebook, obviously, but uh, I will have it on um, on Zoom. But I will put it somewhere where I will put like another strategy. I will put that replay in a system where everybody gonna want to watch a replay, they can have to put their email. Also, I'm going to do it. So again, you see the speed, the speed of execution, the speed of execution. That's why it's so important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to let the live on Facebook all day and about maybe 7 or 8 p.m. I will turn off. And tomorrow I will represent the live with a short video and create a lead magnet with that. So I will show you exactly when we talk about strategy. So I knew, like I always told you guys, when I do something, I always have a plan. So I knew what I was doing. I said, okay, today I will, I will teach for real, but I'm just gonna, not gonna teach for real for free, just for free. I'm gonna create a lead generation. So I'm gonna capture the email of, of the people who really, 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 really want to listen to it. And everything I'm talking about is requirements. It's not even nothing, but I like to give it because it sounds like a lot of work and I love it. So people know that, okay, if I don't have a result, it's because I, I, didn't, I didn't put the work, I didn't have the requirements. It's not like my product is not good. It's not like I'm bad, it's, it's not personal is that I did not respect the laws of the internet the same way you have to respect the laws if you have a, a restaurant, if you have a, any business got a certain way, certain requirement that they need. And when it comes to the laws of the internet for your business, what I give you is just the basic, is a basic, is a basic. It's like, even when I tell you, even when you do that, you're not going, I mean, nothing guarantees you success unless you quit. But what I just told you is going to get you closer to be to have a successful uh, business online. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.